Let's talk about the Pet Simulator 99 drama. Because it's so bad that some players have started burning their plushies. That is a Pet Simulator 99 plushie. And this man lit it on fire. You know it's a bad day for Pet Simulator when people start lighting their $250 plushies on fire. Now, if you're like me and you don't play Pet Simulator 99 that much, you might be confused as to what's going on. What is this drama? So let me get you caught up to speed. So all of this pretty much started last Saturday when they released Update 8 for Pet Simulator. 99. If you guys don't know, Pet Simulator doesn't do weekly updates anymore. Instead, they do one or two big updates a month that has a bunch of new content in it, all at one single time. Big Games tweeted out and said thoughts on the update, and, well, they got more comments than they got likes. That's how you know it's not good. People are upset. They're kind of confused. So much is wrong with this update. You failed, to be honest. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the update. All you guys need to know is that players, they just weren't really happy with this update. And one of the main reasons is because of this feature right here, clan battles. Now, if you don't know what clan battles is, basically you can join a Pet Simulator 99 clan, and every now and then they have this battle where the top clans get a bunch of cool rewards. But, well, it came out that some of the top clans are using scripts macros in order to well farm their way to the top of the leaderboards basically cheaters be cheating now speaking of cheaters that leads into this this tweet right here by a youtuber sizzles jelly queen she made a tweet and said yeah let's reward exploiters and hackers by giving them the most expensive pets in the game don't reward players who support the community support hackers good job big games i won't be buying a single plushie going forward and here's a screenshot of some hackers who have the rarest pets in the game now essentially what happened here is the four hackers that you see in this image here along the bottom well they were exploiting in the game they found an exploit in the game that allowed them to generate dupe not really sure what to call it essentially they got thousands and thousands and thousands of the top pets in the game for free by using an exploit they reported this to the developers and said we found a pet simulator 99 dupe and the developer this is one of them here coder joey he said since you found the exploit we're going to award you a one out of one titanic which is what these are right here these are the rarest pets in the game so basically these exploiters found an exploit they abused the exploit they told the developers about it and the developers gave them the rarest pets in the game in exchange for information on how the exploit is done so that way the developers can patch the exploit and no one else can do it here is a screenshot of coder joey one of the pet Splinter 99 devs giving these hackers these exploiters the rarest pets in the game in exchange for information and this has made a lot of people really really mad people asking the question why are you going to give hackers the rarest pets in the game why don't you just ban the hackers why aren't you rewarding hackers for this kind of behavior and well for the people that don't know this kind of stuff isn't actually that uncommon a lot of big companies even roblox will have programs where they will pay exploiters they will pay hackers to help them fix exploits and bugs it's called white hat hacking basically you pay a hacker to hack you so that you can fix the problem that allowed the hacker to hack you in the first place does that make sense it's kind of like thanos using the stones to destroy the stones you're using hackers to destroy hackers so you might be asking well why are people so mad about this why are people so upset about this why are people burning their plushies over this well it comes down to what pet simulator is for a lot of people it is a trading game it is a collecting game a lot of people spend a lot of time and a lot of money collecting and buying the rarest pets in the game so imagine that you have spent thousands of dollars on this game maybe tens of thousands of dollars and all of your efforts are undermined by some hackers who just get rewarded the best pets in the game for breaking the rules and hacking that's why people are upset and this is a valid concern i would be upset too if i spent thousands of dollars on this game now the big question is why did the developers give them the rarest pets in the game? Typically, whenever something like this happens, you know, a big company like Roblox pays hackers to help them solve the hacking problem they normally just pay them in money now the hackers themselves said that they didn't even ask for the rare pets they were just given 
the rare pets. The hackers have said in various DMs that they would much prefer money, but the developers didn't offer them money. Instead, they just gave them the rarest pets in the game. And now people are upset over it. So upset that some people have started hacking the game in response, literally promoting Roblox hacks just because, hey, well, if those hackers got some free pets, maybe if I hack the game, I'll get some free pets too. It's actually kind of wild. But the situation gets crazier because big games responded to the drama. This guy right here named Josh uh, at Coilus. I'm not really sure who he is. I think he runs the big games YouTube channel. He's got the big games verification mark up there. So he works at big games. He tweeted out and he said so much negativity in the Pet Splinter 99 community. I think the majority of it stand from the clan situation time to introduce some positivity and then pizza king here said delete the rainbow shiny titanics that you gave the exploiters who abused the glitch and got 20,000 huges for free that they still have that will improve the game and then he replied boring topic next that is the official big games response to this drama to the situation boring topic next i'm not an expert at pr public relations okay i didn't go to school for this i'm not trained for this but when you have a situation that your community is in where they have a valid concern over a decision made in the game that affects all players it's probably not a good idea to dismiss those concerns by saying boring topic next that's probably one of the worst things that this person could have replied with. What they could have said instead is something like, hey, we understand your concerns. This is what we did. Here is why we did it. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll try and do better going forward into the future. That's all he had to say. That, that's it. That would have solved the situation. But he said boring topic next. And well, people, um, people aren't that happy about that. People aren't that happy. <laughs> Uh, at all. <laughs> this is your second worst tweet. I'm curious what the first tweet is. No, I don't want to go too hard on this guy. I don't think anyone should. I'm not sure how old he is, but judging from a lot of his replies and stuff, I'm assuming he's young. Maybe he's a kid. I don't know. I'm just showing that tweet because it made people even more mad. So mad that the developers have started blocking some people that's calling them out on Twitter, blocking people that are that are criticizing them. Apparently, some players are even getting banned for criticizing the developers on Twitter, and I don't know how true that is. That's pretty wild. If so, I don't think anyone should be getting banned for, you know, complaining on Twitter. Shoot, I'd probably be the first one to get banned, which has led to people burning their plushies. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, dude. He's like, all right, y'all asked for it. I'm burning my plushies. You blocked me on Twitter. I'm burning the plushie. Now, personally, I think the situation has gone way overboard. I think the simple solution here, and maybe I'm crazy, I don't know, but just take away the rare pets from the hackers, give the hackers money, like, you know, most companies do in situations like this, and then problem solved. That's it. Release a statement that says, hey, we're sorry. We shouldn't have done this. We'll do better going forward in the future. Problem solved. There you go. That, that situation <laughs> solved. I should also say that nobody should be using this as an opportunity to hack or exploit the game and feel good about it. If anyone's hacking or exploiting, they should be banned, period. So don't think that this is just a green light for anyone to just go and start hacking the game in order to get free stuff because that's definitely not how that works. But that's the Pet Splinter 99 drama in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think about it down below.